Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, cats and kittens. Welcome to Bus Simulator 21. And we are going to play the, the introduction. And I would like to show you how to edit your character at first. So this is how we look like. I've already changed the outfit of Jilly Vanilli. She is going to be our boss, the boss boss, and uh, she's going to be our driver girl. She's looking pretty cute. You can adjust anything in here, body type, head, like, I don't know, does the head really have a, yeah, I think this is the best head model. Skin tone, there are only three. Hair styles, there are a few. So yeah, it looks pretty sweet. I decided to pick... Oh, well, I could pick this one because this one... Oh, no. I don't like when there is anything in her hair. Oh, this one looks... This one looks cute. Okay, she's gonna have this hair. Jilly Vanilli. Yeah, facial hair for girls, obviously. It's just a face, masks. And, uh, no. She's not gonna wear any masks. So, yeah, that's it. And, of course, you can change the clothing. The top, the pants. Like, there are four different kinds of tops. Not so many. Four different kinds of pants. Also, not so many. Three different kinds of shoes, even less. However, uh, sunglasses, you can... Or normal glasses, you could pick like 16. <laughs> and then all the colors for primary and secondary material. There's lots of choices, however. Like a standard blue? Something in between? Not available. So I pick pink. Well, yeah. And also, there is no black, like standard black. Well, this comes as close as it gets to black. So I'll pick this one. Yeah, then uh, don't forget to apply your changes. So yeah, I've already uh, set up all this uh, control settings. I mean, here uh, I don't have a steering wheel, so I have to use uh, keyboard and mouse. Then we have these two. You can uh, adjust these to your liking. A lot of stuff you can uh, like do here. I, I put realistic. Let's see how this goes. Because with a keyboard, it's kind of tricky to uh, make it realistic enough. So, we're gonna pick a new game. And uh, yeah, Seaside Valley is locked because we have to play the introduction of Angel Shores. In Angel Shores, you can live the American dream, build your empire from one bus to everybody's first choice of transport. Be it the entrepreneur of Pecunia, the ind industrialist of Auris Harbor, uh, Toyota has an Auris as well, Auris Harbor, and Timber Ridge, our family is on their way to Arnold Schwarzenegger Park. Everybody must get somewhere. Remember to be the best bus driver you can be. You should always follow these traffic rules. Most traffic lights are positioned on the opposite side of the junction. If you are driving up the red light, you're always allowed to turn right. Pedestrians always come first, so keep an eye out. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, here. All controls are manual. Permission or simplified driving restricted to realistic features. A drive purist. Yeah, realistic driving, some convenience features. I guess I'll pick this one. So, the company name, because, uh, yeah, the, the, the boss is called Jilly Vanilli. Um, it would be like something like, I don't know, Stars Bus, but we are gonna pick something completely different. We are gonna pick Wieland Bus. This is actually a, a German name or a Swiss name even uh, because I live in the Wineland or Wieland of 
Zurich, so I'm gonna pick Wielandbus. Tutorial enabled because we are playing for the first time. And uh, start with tutorial, yeah. Accept. Okay. So this is how we how we start into the tutorial, and I can already hear beeping in the background, so let's see how this goes. Obviously, the first part is also like, oh, let's watch the intro. Welcome back, everybody. What a fantastic morning. Now, don't touch that radio. I have some great news to announce. Today, a new company will take over public transport. Soon, we will see buses roaming our city day and night. This will make it easier to take in all the beauty Angel Shores has to offer. Are you looking for the best food in town? Check out the fantastic restaurants in Oakwood. In the evening, you can head over to West Oakwood and enjoy some sprawling nightlife. That's what I call an Oakwood double combi night. Food and party. Want to spend a nice day out in nature? Just head over to Gold Island for a hike or have a relaxed day at Silver Park. It's the perfect spot to grab a good book and enjoy the silence. For a family day trip, head over to Arnold Park. There are rumors about sea lions living in the waterfront. I've got to see that for myself. Also, if you're into seafood, you won't be disappointed. Talking about the sea, not a single cloud to be had in the coming weeks. So don't forget to check out the amazing beach of Sea View. Or if you'd rather spend the hot days on a shopping trip, head over to Pecunia and experience the impressive skyscrapers of the downtown area. These and many more wonderful places wait to be discovered. And thanks to the new transportation company, it'll be easier than ever to visit them. I'm definitely excited to take the bus home today, but enough talk for now. Let's get to it. Indeed. That's what Teal could have said. Hi there. Over here. Yeah, so walking is with... Hi, I'm Mira. It's so nice to meet you. I'm here to help you set up your transport business. I'm really excited to get started on this project. All right, first things first. As a bus company, we need a bus. And the great thing is, you get to choose it. Take a look at these three buses. All right, then. Okay, the Cetra is the longest one, obviously. It's a tough decision, isn't it? Just take your time. Yeah. But yeah, that's 13 meters. Then the, the man is 10.5. And the Citaro is 10.63. And because I'm most familiar with it... Wait a second, does this only have two doors? Okay. Oh, well, then it doesn't matter. Well, we should start with a kind of an older bus. And the man is actually a, a, a slightly older one than uh, the Citaro. So we will get the man. Oh, great choice. And now for the best part. Take your seat at the wheel. All right, then. Okay, this is oh, funny. The feeling of a brand new bus. Yeah, this is definitely like too, too close to the steering wheel. I like to sit further away from it. So this is already the first like audio visual thing we have to do. So, cockpit fav has to be way lower. Ah! No, it has to be higher then. Oh, shoot! And no wonder this is like... Whoa! <laughs> pretty far away. Okay, cockpit fav. Field of view, by the way. That's the... So, it was standard set to 90. Let's get it to 100, then. This is more like it, because then I can actually see both mirrors. Well, not perfectly. If it, well, well, if that... If that uh, upper right uh, action cam goes away, then I will probably be able, but... You know what? Let's put it even a little further away. Let's set it to a hundred and six. Mm. 
Yeah, this is more like it. All right. Activate the cockpit zoom with the right mouse button. While being zoomed in, it is easier to interact with the cockpit. All settled and ready? Then start the engine. All right, then let's start the engine. Once more, and once more. Doesn't that engine sound wonderful? Holy I just moly, love I have the sound. to. Don't forget to switch on the lights. Haha, <laughs> my controller just started vibrating like. Holy moly, I have to unplug the controller. <laughs> because I'm driving with keyboard and with the mouse, so the controller will go away for a moment. Turn on, yeah. Okay, turn on the lights. All the interior lights. Close the front door. Oh, and of course, release the parking brake. Well, of course. By the way, parking brake is here. Change to third person. Oh, yeah, you can drive buses in first or third person, but yeah, we're gonna drive Maybe first person. First, take a minute to get accustomed to the bus. Just drive around the building until you feel at ease. Okay, now I'm, uh. I wonder. Okay, uh, left and right apparently doesn't work. I was able to accelerate, but I was not able to break reverse, yeah. Um <laughs> Are you telling me this lean left, lean right, is that, is that the actual, is that the steering wheel of the bus or not? No, this is, this is the leaning. So how do you turn? Come on! That was so easy in Bus Simulator 18. This is already the first problem I have right now. Driving, I mean, accelerate, brake. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay. Uh, what did we have? Lean left was like Y and lean right was X. Which is fully okay. That's fine. Oh my goodness. Uh, this is... This is a little bit crazy. I mean, yeah, that was for the keyboard, obviously, but... Yeah, this is... How am I supposed to turn the wheel around? But uh, this is, this is a basic feet. This is a basic steering option, like braking, and accelerating. Obviously, up and down, and then left and right on the keyboard is obviously for turning. So where is it? Bus functions. No, this is just for. Uh... Oh my goodness! Are you for real? Is this like? Is this not a thing? This is, it's not, it's also not under general controls. I mean, unless... Wait a second, Let, let's try A and D. Oh, are you for real? Alright, then we have to change. Oh man, but, jeez, this is a little bit like... Come on, huh? This is, this is not how it's supposed to work. Please change that. This is crazy. So this is under general controls, but then accelerating and braking. Jesus Christ. You know what? But then we also have to change these. Then we have to work with the arrow buttons on foot as well. Otherwise, this will be no, 
there's no way I'm gonna use A and B for steering. Okay, please tell me now. Oh, we have Euros? Oh, that's interesting. Okay, this feels more like it, even though... Oh, I see. So the steering wheel actually stays in the position. It does go back eventually, but it takes quite some time. This is a totally different feeling than it was. Well, actually, I could get used to this, that the steering wheel is going back slowly. I might get used to this, but it's... Woo, this is gonna take some time. Jesus. Jeez Louise. Okay. I mean, okay, let's... Did I get the achievement or not? I did. Are you serious? <laughs> That's a good one. I knew that there was an achievement for making it through the pylons without hitting one. Oh, that was pretty cool. Alright. By the way, I have to say something here before I continue. Let's take come to a full stop. Alright. I am a real bus driver. So, this should be... <laughs> easy enough for me to do it's just the controls in the game but I have the the field of view like I have the vision I know how long the bus is this is ten and a half meters so yeah this is not the issue uh, it is actually the steering controls that I just had issues with in the beginning but I think yeah like the vol everything else should be natural to me so this is just the rest okay so test drive yeah okay before making Purchase the vehicle by exiting the forecourt, so let's do that. So you want this model, right? Great. I do. Let's just complete the purchase. I want to buy this bus. This bus marks the beginning of Angel Shore's new public transport system. Awesome. Time for our maiden voyage. The GPS will show you the way to the first stop. There should be that's that's the first thing I immediately thought. Why is there no lever to um raise the bus and lower the bus because when you go out like that that was a quite a harsh bump usually buses have a feature that lets you like if there is a, a control mostly it's on the lower left near the steering wheel here one of those switches or levers or whatever uh, you can um, raise and lower the like by a few centimeters you can raise or lower the bus and that is very important when you go over such bumps or in the exit uh, like yeah, when you get out of side street into a main street then okay that car definitely nearly hit that pass that pedestrian I thought it would actually hit it Okay, it's a. Uh, I don't like how. Oh, the first stop is coming yeah, up Yeah, when you drive already. a little faster, it's markings? kind of. They show you the perfect parking position. Yeah, usually oh, it's the, the one who the enters indicator. in America. It's the one who is first in the intersection that is, that has the right of way. Our first passengers. Now you can open the doors. Welcome everyone to our maiden voyage. This is so great. I've never taken part in a maiden voyage. See, our passengers are almost as excited as I am. Make sure all passengers yeah, boarded the bus. Has not Close been the doors and we're good to go. I better indicate that you're I should. Stop uh, <laughs> okay, I have to kneel first before. You know how to handle stops. 
Now our schedule comes into play. A timer shows you the remaining time to the next I stop. See. As a reliable transit company, we'd better be on time. So, I have to kneel first before I open the doors. That is not how it works in real life. Definitely not. I usually kneel when opening the doors or right after, but not before. Actually, you can't unless you have a, like, um, in German we say Türfreigabe, like, um, something that lets the passengers open the doors by themselves by pressing uh, the stop or the red button from in and outside the bus. What are you doing? Why well, are you stopping right there? I mean, come on. It was still like three meters to go to the to the to the pedestrian stripes at least. Okay, there's a bus stop coming up, so I'm gonna keep right a little bit. Yeah. The right side view mirror is not even in sight right now, but I know where the right well, side of the bus is. Well, there are a lot of passengers with us on our very first trip. There are actually more people than I invited. Seems like work got around. Isn't that great? Yeah, and now it says well knelt. Okay, I don't like how these this upper camera is... Uh, oh, like, seems there's a passenger blocking the doors. Better ask him to step inside. Ah, then, is she in the front? No, she must be in the rear. Is in the rear? Uh... Okay. Oh, now I actually have to raise the button. When I first like came here, I didn't know about the right on red rule. Just so you know, you can turn right at junctions, even if the traffic light is red. Some states have allowed this for over 50 years now. Isn't that fascinating? I have to stay behind this guy because I'm about to turn right in the next one. The map actually goes a little smaller when you're going, which is cool. I'm used to the, the steering wheel immediately. For the next stop, I asked a friend Thanks in a wheelchair a to faster. come along. That way, we can try out the ramp. All right, then. Just extend the ramp so Ash can board. Uh, I enabled... I enabled simplified ramps because, um... The other... Th Thing. I saw other Let's Players having lots of difficulty with the ramp, so I just immediately went like Hi, Mira. simplified. Nice bus you got. Hi, Ash. It's good to see you. Thanks for joining us today. Having a public transport system in our city will make getting around a whole lot easier for you. That's great to hear. Enjoy the ride. I actually moved here for this project. Audrey and I are really liking it here, especially the beach promenade. Yeah, when you take like small bends it's pretty pretty difficult to like yeah I have to get used to this like not immediately going back with the steering wheel oh it's Turning red. Unfortunately. So yeah, um, yeah, this is like the first thing. Steering, like the controls. How am I supposed to know that the general controls also mean left and right in the in the bus at, when driving? Uh, in GTA, for example, it's always like walking is not 
driving, so you have separated controls for that. And I think it was like that as well in Boss Simulator 18. I could be wrong, but I think it was like that. Yeah, usually, like, on these intersections, it would be right before left. Right There's before one last thing we need to check. As a bus driver, you'll also be selling the tickets. Let's give it a try at the next stop. Thank you stop. for stopping. like to buy a ticket, please. Hey, Jackie. How are you? Hi, Mira. I'm great. Thanks okay, for inviting me. Okay, what's a regular day ticket? I disabled the cash machine, by the way. Uh, Maybe this is just for a show. You can click on the screen of the cashier machine to enable the mode, or you can press, in my case, B. So, everything's going to plan. The next stop is already the last one. I mean, I have a GeForce GTX 970. I have a feeling that it's running at the, at the maximum here. I might have to lower some settings. That sucks. Okay, it's green. All right. That's the last stop for today. Thank you all for riding with us. Hope to see you again soon. Ash will need the ramp again to get off the bus. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Ash. Nice seeing you. Wait for the onboarding to complete. Yeah. That was an amazing right maiden voyage. It was. Now, with all the passengers off, the official part of the maiden voyage is done. You really did great. Just deliver the bus to the depot. That's where it's stored. You can also get yourself a coffee there, too. Yeah, let's do that. And then finish the part for today. Yeah. I mean, it feels like it's running just on, like, 24 FPS. It's just barely fluent, but it's... I will probably have to lower some graphic settings here. By the way, I disabled potholes and all that stuff. That is just silly. You can still hear them, but uh, there will be no penalties for them. <laughs> this is just crazy. Come on. Drive slowly to one of the doors. Thank you. Or, or not thank you. He was stopping. I was like, okay, maybe he's letting me in, but I blinked left. So also here I would like to like uh, raise the bus for a few centimeters to get on over this bump. Drive into the depot. Okay. Now park the bus and we're done. Great. Uh, once more, okay. What is she doing? Come on.
Also, I I don't seem to be able to just walk. I always run. Oh, you can... Ah! Cool, okay, you can do that right on there. But, hello, I would prefer to just... You know... Do I... Oh my god! She doesn't get off the bus because it's not knelt. Is that is that the reason why? Close up. I did. Oh no, I did. I didn't close the second door. Yeah. Why doesn't the second door close? I press six. That's silly, come on. Okay, whatever. Uh, I guess if you can, I should have done that before. Now she's standing there and, uh... oh jeez. Now I can't close the second door. This is just silly. And she won't get off the bus because I, it's not knelt. So I guess I will have to drive this again. Yeah. Alright, so that's the end of the first part. Obviously now we, you will not see... Yeah, she will not get off because... It, okay, this is another thing. You know, if... Like, come on, we are in the depot, and she is clearly able to get off the bus without it being knelt. She's not an old lady, you know. I never kneel the bus when I go into the depot, when I get off the bus. Come on. Okay, so, apparently we have re I've reached a point here where I just cannot continue, because now she is here. I cannot close the second door for whatever reason, therefore... I can, like, the bus can only be knelt down when the doors are closed. I get that. But now, apparently, I cannot close the second door. Okay, this is already a big no-no, because that means I will have to redo the entire thing. Off-screen, obviously. Thanks for watching, until next time, and Tschüssikowski.